Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will explain you our newly launched product which is Employee Performance Management System in Microsoft Excel. After downloading this tool from our website, you can simply right click and extract all from the zip file. Click on extract. Folder will be extracted into a new folder and here we have this file which is Employee Performance Management System. First you need to right click on this and then go to the properties and just unblock this file. Click on apply and ok. Now we will open this file. So double click on this to open. So this is the login page and here you need to use the user id and password to log in into this system. By default user id I have given here admin1 and abcd password in a small case. Click on login. This is the landing page and I will explain you each and every functionality of this tool. On the top left section we have here welcome admin1. So admin1 is the username which we have logged in and this is the role of that user. So role is admin. We have two type of roles here admin and user. Admin is kind of supervisor role and the user is normal user role. Okay. Then we have here user management. If I click on this, you can see we have the list of users. You can add a new user here, put here username, then put the password. Let's say I'm putting A, B, C, D small case and then the role I'm creating user. Email ID, let's say I'm putting, click on submit. You can put the different user ID for the different users or actual user IDs, but here I have put only single user ID for all users. So we have four users here. If you want to update any users, let's say for user one, I want to make the admin. So double click on that. So the information will be prefilled. You can just change this use here, admin and submit. Now this is an admin. Okay. Or just double click again and change as user and submit. So that is changed. So using the double click, you can change any information. Or if you want to delete the user, just select that and click on delete button. That user will be deleted. Just close this. So this was the user management. And you can click on this manage list also. We have two lists here. One is the status and the priority. You can just select here. Let's say status. And if I want to add a new item here, I can simply put here. Let's say not started. Click on add. That item is added to the list. You can delete it from here. Just select and delete. So that item will be deleted. You can use the export to Excel also to this list. Let's close this. And this is the logout button. If you click on this, you will be logged out from the tool and the file will be closed. Using the email us, you can simply see our email ID. If you need any customization or you have any query about this, or you want to add more features as per your requirement, you can simply email us on this email ID. Get more tools will take you to our website to see the other more tools and templates from our website as per your requirement. Then we have this section and here we have the count of pending, in progress, completed, overdue and this is the average score. Basically, this is the performance score of the employees. And then here we have the filter section. We have all period and we have the start date, end date. So whatever start date, end date you have selected, by default it will take the rolling seven days. But you can change it as per your requirements. Let's say I want to see the data for the July month. So I can select here 1st July using this calendar and this one, the end date. And click on this refresh button. So I'm seeing the data for the July month. You can see the top numbers are also getting changed. If you want to see the whole data, you can simply click on all period. Just check this. In that case, it will ignore the start date and date and it will show the whole data. You can see on the top section also numbers are getting changed. I have given some input of some dummy task here and these top numbers are not just numbers. They are filters also. For example, we have pending 4. If I click on this 4, I will see in the list these 4 are pending. If I click here, this is in progress, click and this is the list of completed. I want to see the list of overdue tasks. I can simply click here and these are the overdue tasks. Alright friend, 
we have this filter drop down here you can select any filter from here let's say task name priority assigned let's say i'm selecting assign to and i want to see the task for user one and click on refresh then i can see these are the four tasks assigned to user one all right friend and you can just select and refresh then it will show all tasks then we have the sort by you can just sort your data in the ascending or descending order by selected field so let's say i'm selecting here due date and you can use sort this by the due date or i want to see by the status so i can simply see these are completed these are in progress these are pending similarly you can see by the priority also the high priority is on top then low then medium or by assigned to also admin one user one then we have user two and if you want to you see in descending you can see like this now we have a add new task button so if you want to add a new task you can use this button now let me add a new task so click on this button and first we need to select the date by default it will take the today's date if you want to change it let's say i want to change it for the tomorrow and i'm putting here let's say new task or you can put your actual task name then I want to give some due date. So let's say I'm giving the due date for 31st July or I can change the month and I can say let's say 2nd August. In the document link, you can provide any link of your document which is available online. For example, it can be on a Google Drive or any Google Sheet or online Excel, SharePoint link, whatever you want. It's a free text and you can just input here if you want to give some document link priority you can select this is the low priority high priority or medium priority let's say i'm selecting here high priority you can manage the priority from here also you can simply click on this plus and that manage list will be open which we have already seen and you can simply add the new priority and that will appear here after clicking on this refresh button now let's say i want to assign this task to user 2 status by default will be pending but you can change it and again you want to add a new status you can just click on this plus button let's say here i want to add not started click on add that status is appearing here close this now that is not appearing here you need to click on this refresh and then you can see that is appearing here you can delete it from here also just select and delete and just close this again it is appearing you need to click on this refresh and then it is not appearing so select this the completion date we will select only when we are marking it as a completed okay you can put some comments whatever you want i'm putting some test and just add and close this we can see at bottom we have a new task this one okay this all information you can see and if you want to update this task or any other task you can just select that task and click on this update existing record all information will appear pre-filled similarly you can just click here the another way is you can double click on any task and that will be pre-filled you can change the information whatever you want for example this was not the high priority it was a low priority and you can just submit that and you can see the priority is changed to low all right friends so that is how you can just update this if you want to delete any task just select that task and just click on this delete button it will ask that you want to delete this just for the confirmation if you say yes then only it will be deleted so these are the sample tasks i have added if you use this tool you can simply delete them one by one now we have this report section if you want to extract this report whatever is appearing in this box okay if you want to extract only overdue and you can just export to excel or you can select all also from here and you can export to excel let's click on export to excel okay so these are the tasks available in a new excel workbook you can use them as you want you can create some report dashboard or whatever you want to do so let me close this then we have the score if you have marked it as completed as a supervisor you can give the score to the task so select any task by default the score will go 100 okay 
but you can change it just select a task and click on this button and here you can just update the score let's say for this task i want to give the score of 40 you can update the score between 0 to 100 only okay and you can put the comments mistake in this task for example okay and submit so the score is 40 and you can see it will change the overall score also because it is taking the average so that is how you can measure the performance for any employee in the last we have this email button you can just click on this and uh, you can send the email of these tasks available in this so it can be filtered also okay and you can just click on this button now it is sending the email for the respective users like we have put the assigned to and we have used the email id in the user management we have already seen it so all emails sent all right friends that's it in this admin view now i will quickly show you the user view also so for that we will logged out from this system so this tool is logged out let's reopen that file again just again open that file and this time we will log in with the user one password was abcd and just hit the enter so this is the logged in view we can see that email and the supervisor score here and if i select here all period i'm just seeing the task which is assigned to user one only okay without any filter when you add a new task you can't assign it to the other user that is logged another one is when you use the user management you can just change your password that's it otherwise you need to contact to your admin and rest information is the same you can't email and the update supervisor and friends email will go through the outlook only so you need to open your outlook and then that email will go so friends that's it in this employee performance management system you can share your feedback or if you want to see more features in the next version i can add those features also friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos Thank you so much for watching.